Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Solving trig equations, we're going to use the unit circle to help us figure out how to figure out angle theta in trig equations. So here's the things that you have to remember, and these are ideas from previous videos. Sometimes at certain angles we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and the short leg is going to be 1 half, and the long leg is radical 3 over 2. All right. If it is a 45 degree angle, or a version of that, then we have an isosceles right triangle and it's radical 2 over 2 for both legs. The sine and the cosine values there would be radical 2 over 2. Now how do we know the difference? Well again a reminder from previous video kind of reviewing a little bit. Some angles that are in sixths or thirds of a radian, these are the green shaded angles around the circle, those are 30, 60, 90 triangles. Notice the 3 and the 6 are highlighted. So think of thirds and sixths of a radian. That's when you have radical 3 over 2 and 1 half. Okay? Or 45, 45, 90 triangles are when you have 1 fourths of a radian. Those are versions of 45 degrees, whether it's that one, or that one, or that one, or that one, as you go around the unit circle. So if we can figure out what kind of triangle is created with an angle, then that'll give us our trig function values. Some equations for you to try. It says solve each equation for theta being between 0 and 360. So obviously we're talking about degrees. Okay, we're going to be thinking of these angles in degrees. Now we have in number 17, and I'll work these first two together, 3 equals 2 plus sine theta. We need to rewrite this and manipulate this equation so that we have sine theta equaling something. Well, this is going to be fairly easy. We're going to just subtract 2 from each side, right? And that will be a 1. So sine theta equals 1. So therefore, theta equals what? All right, before I show you, let's look at this one. This is negative 2 times sine theta. So I'm going to go ahead and divide each side by negative 2. And notice what happens. I'm going to get sine theta equals positive 1 half. And so I have to look and figure out on the unit circle where the sine value would be positive 1 half and that will give me the theta value in degrees. Alright, so let's go back to the unit circle and again um, if you know the unit circle fairly well and the diagram I've been using back and forth a lot it's just a matter of kind of maybe sketching out a picture but let's go to the unit circle and figure this out. So where is the sine value positive 1 and positive 1 half? Now again a reminder that the sine value is the y-axis value, okay? That's the up and down, the vertical part of these triangles. And the cosine value is the horizontal part, okay? And that of course is the x value. So if we can just kind of keep that straight, then we've got it. Now again the question is where's the sine value positive 1? And that of course would be straight up. That's got to be a 90 degree angle right there. And where is the sine value positive one half? Well, it looks like we're going to be going clear over here to halfway up the y-axis, so that would have to be at a 30 degree angle. So it looks like 90 and 30. So number 17, yes, that's 90 degrees. And number 18, notice it's 30 degrees and also 150 degrees. Let's take a look back at why. At 150 degrees, we would be coming off at this angle here, and yes, that would be a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and from here to here, that sine value vertically going up would be the short leg, so that also would be one half. So you've got two angles here where the sine value would all be one half. There might be more than one answer on some of these trig equations. 
Now it's time for you to try. There's four problems left in this problem set and you have to solve for theta and use the unit circle and uh, sketch it out if you need to. Remember to figure out what kind of triangle you are looking at. Alright, good luck. Hit pause. Alright, let's look at number 19. It looks fairly complicated but we can kind of simplify it a little bit by looking at the right hand side. And I noticed that that 2 is being divided into both parts. All right, So let's think of it as negative 4 over 2 which is going to be a negative 2. And let's look at that 2 being divided by that or into that radical 3. So that's minus radical 3 over 2. Okay, Negative 2 subtract radical 3 over 2. All right, then of course if we add 2 to each side because I want to get that cosine theta by itself over there, notice how those 2's will cancel out. So we have cosine theta equals negative radical 3 over 2. Now the question is what would theta be? We'll have to look at the unit circle here in just a minute. Now let's go ahead and look at all these cosine examples first. Well number 20 we would add 5 to each side and of course that would give us 0. So the cosine of theta has to be 0. Alright, what angle theta gives us a cosine value of 0? That's the question. And let's skip to 22. We again are going to add 3 to each side. Notice how those disappear now and again cosine theta is going to be 0. So it looks like our answer for 20 and 22 is going to be the same. Alright, so back to the unit circle. Let's figure out where the cosine is radical 3 over 2 and 0. What angles is that? Alright, well first of all, where is the cosine value equal to 0? Now remember cosine is the horizontal component here on the x-axis. Now if it's at 0, that means it does not move at all. And that means we must have an angle of straight up 90 or straight down 270. Okay, So we've got 90 and 270 when the cosine is 0. Alright, we'll come back to that and show that. Now also, we have a negative cosine value of uh, 3, radical 3 over 2. And that gives us a 30, 60, 90 triangle because what we want is we want the cosine value to be the long leg of such a triangle. Notice how it would look like that. So 150 degrees and also 210 degrees, right? Because we want a 30, 60, 90 triangle flip-flopped in both directions and that is the cosine value going backwards on the x-axis, radical 3 over 2, negative. So again, for 19, 20, and 22, the cosine uh, equations is 150 or 210. We got two choices there. And then we have both of these are 90 and 270, straight up or straight down. All right, one more to take a look at. All right, so 4 equals 8 sine theta. That's multiplication there. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by 8, and you'll see something interesting happen here. Those 8s will cancel, and that 4 over 8, of course, is 1 half. So where on the unit circle is the sine value of theta equal to positive one half. So sine is the up and down vertical part, right? And one half is the short leg of a 30, 60, 90 triangle, okay? So you wanna remember the short leg of a 30, 60, 90 triangle and the sine is the vertical part. So where is the vertical part going to be the short leg of a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Well, it's got to be there at 30 degrees and it could also be there at 150 degrees, right? Because these are the short legs here. Alright, so we think it's going to be 30 and 150. Let's check. Number 21, yes indeed, 30 and 150. All right, very good. I'm really glad that you tried these problems. This is a problem set, and now we're going to get into the same thing, solving trig equations with radians. 
take a look. Thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard.